Okay, sorry I have to narrate this video. There was a TV playing in the next room very loudly, and I couldn't allow that to get on my video. So anyway, the first thing you're going to want to do here is cut the uh, caulk with a razor knife um, around the trim that you're going to remove. In this case, I'm only going to remove the trim at the bottom. You shouldn't have to remove the casing around the top of the window and the sides of the window. Uh, but if you do, you're going to want to cut the caulk on that too. But um, in this case, I'm not going to need to do that. All right, so remove the uh, casing around the bottom of the window. And uh, be careful when you're doing this that uh, the cut is, uh, the caulk is cut all the way because uh, it'll peel the paint up and it'll be a whole lot of sadness. Um, if you observe here, the way that I'm pulling that pry bar is away from the drywall. If I was pulling that the other way, I'd be filling the drywall full of dents down below the trim where you can see it. Uh, so be mindful of that. Just uh, work it slow and uh, patience is key. All right, there we go. Got rid of that. So I put the pry bar under there to have a little bit of a space. And if you have one of these um, oscillating tools with the, ra uh, with the blade on there, they work really good for stuff like this. Um, when you get up close to the window, uh, be careful not to uh, let the sideward motion of that uh, blade hit the window and um, make marks on there. So just kind of cut as far as you can without actually getting to the window and then the rest of it you'll break with the uh, pry bar. And of course as you see I'm using a vacuum to control the dust but you don't need to do that. And just work these uh, out one at a time. Um, be careful when you're doing this. Again, if you pull that uh, window sill the wrong way the ear that's sticking out to the left there will dig into the drywall and make a big hole there, so uh, be careful with that. And just do the same thing on the other side. All right, just clean up the uh, clean up the mess right there, and uh, take care of any nails that might be sticking up. Okay, so what I did here is um, I've already cut out the, uh, the new windowsill. Uh, so lay it out on the floor, and I just laid it on top of a piece of wood. It's just a 1x6. Um, you might need to rip that uh, to width uh, because I think this one was uh, 5 inches wide and the 1x6 is 5 and a half. So uh, you probably have to do that and then trace it out with a pencil. And um, what I did was is I took a router and you'll see here in a minute, um, and router the top and the bottom edges. Okay, so uh, I didn't show that part. Um, if you want to see how to use that router, I have another video uh, working on from stairs to uh, hardwood, and I show in there I'm um, routing out the uh, bottom step um, to do that, but um, it's no big deal. You're just running the router across the top and across the bottom. And let's test fit the, uh, the window sill. And it fits like a glove. Use some trim nails to uh, nail that puppy in. If you don't have an air gun, then just use some uh, trim nails to do that. Pull the uh, nails out of the old casing if you're going to reuse that. And uh, use a razor knife to uh, cut any uh, caulk that's hanging off the edges um, so it's more smooth when you put it back. And just nail that bad boy back on there. And then go around and caulk everything. I'm not going to show the entire process because you get the picture. You just got to caulk everything that you took off of there before you paint it and then give it adequate time to dry before you uh, hit that with a paintbrush or you'll be smearing caulk all over the place. That's about it. And fill up your nail holes with caulk or uh, wood putty or anything like that. Alright, here's the finished product after it's been caulked and I painted it already. 
And that's about it. So if you like this video, click on that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do come out with videos like this as often as I can.